hello everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be talking to you guys about apps that you need on your ipad or tablet or phone or whatever for back to school this video is going to be more tailored toward like ipads and tablets though just because that's what i mainly use for school um other than my computer of course but i mean i think a lot of these apps are available on androids iphones apple devices whatever so you can definitely use this on whatever device you have so yeah also i don't know about this piece of hair it's just really not working with me today so we're gonna ignore that and it's fine so let's just go ahead and roll the intro and get into this video mm -hmm. all right guys so um my ipad videos are like the best videos on my channel um you guys love them so i'm gonna keep doing them for you today i'm gonna be talking about all of the ipad do you want to show you a couple things like interesting that I kind of figured out and kind of learned by myself throughout the semester and then some apps that I found and used and love and actually genuinely use in my life and that are really helpful during the school year school semester whatever you call it I feel like this quarantine so many people got iPads and started like doing stuff with them I don't know I feel like I watched a lot of iPad unboxing stuff like that videos over quarantine and stuff like that because I don't know I just love watching unboxings of technology I don't really know why but it's fine to each his own um but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my ipad um if you guys like the lock screen i have on it i actually did make this myself i have a whole entire instagram page where i do like digital design kind of stuff i'm still learning so it's not like amazing but if you guys want to go follow that page it's at smls designs so i'm gonna start screen recording and put my ipad up on the screen right here for you Boop. so i have a folder called college and in here is a lot of apps um, I have two pages worth of apps, but the next page is like my school's app and I'm not going to show you that because I don't want to like you guys to stalk me or something. So we're not going to show you that, but I will show you majority of the apps in here. So the first app is Quizlet, which I mean, I think we all know what Quizlet is at this point. I'm going to be honest. I don't really make Quizlets. I know I will for nursing school. But this is Quizlet. I'm going to skip over this because it has the place I go to school at. For example, when I was a and and stuff, I would search up my chapter, my textbook, and then people made flashcards. And I would just go through them. I feel like for classes that are super visual, like memorization, like A&P and stuff, apps like Quizlet are amazing. They're great. It's free. Um, sometimes I like to having physical flashcards, but a lot of the times it's just convenient to have them all on one device in one place and not carrying a big old stack of cards. So Quizlet is great for that. It also can help if you're looking for like answers that's all i'm gonna say on that but i think you guys know catch my drift so the next couple apps i personally prefer to use like the google system like google docs google drive google slides and stuff like that just because the google ones you can use them on any device that can go on google um like the microsoft office system you have to buy it um my school actually does provide it to us for free so that's why I have the Microsoft apps on here because for some of my classes, like my science class, my chemistry lab, we were required to do stuff in Microsoft Office files and doc names or whatever it's called. So that's why I have these, but I actually prefer the Google ones. So I have both of those on here. They're really helpful to have on a tablet device because if you're out or something or if you didn't bring your laptop, um, but you want to pull up something really quick or like if you have your computer, you can do like a dual monitor thing. It just it's nice to have it on as many devices as you can the notes app actually so one thing that i discovered this year about the notes app is that you can scan documents i literally had no idea that you could do this until a couple months ago so i mean i figured if i didn't know maybe some other people didn't know about this but i know at least for my school um when the semester switched to online we had to for my chemistry lab class we had to actually pdf scan our documents in like our lab reports because we weren't allowed to type them or anything because i guess a lot of people cheated that way so we had to physically like scan our documents Documents, and I didn't know you could do that in the notes app they told us to get this like PDF download app but I accidentally figured out how to do it in the notes app so I'm going to show you guys how to do that too but yeah like these ones it's just like a scan of my notebook page and it just looks cool like that um so how you do this is basically you go to the notes app open up a new note and then click the camera button at the bottom you're going to click scan documents and then hold it up to a piece of paper I'll just show you this one over here and it'll like automatically kind of like register the paper and then it'll either take the picture for you or you can take it yourself and then that's a pdf document it's really easy it's really simple and i had no idea you could do that until a couple months ago so i thought you know might as well share it with the people it kind of looks like a picture of it but it's not it's different because um 
like my chemistry class like we would take it points taken off if we turned in like a picture of an assignment and not like the scanned pdf version it was very specific i don't know but i didn't know how to do that so i thought you guys would be interested in learning how to do it too so just showed you that little bit right there um the next app i want to talk to you guys about is trello and y'all trello this app is fire okay if you are a visual person like me and you love like organizing stuff into groups making to-do lists and stuff like that you're gonna love trello the funny thing about this app is that me and my friend um we actually um for our senior year of high school for our project our teacher like made us use trello and like we kind of hated it at the time but like now that i'm not forced to use it i love it so basically what you do is you have these boards and i don't know why this is a jellyfish on mine i definitely did not set that up like that um, but you can have like photos in the background or colors. I'll do the palm tree since it's summer. I'm used to doing this on the computer. I didn't realize there was an app for the iPad until a couple weeks ago. But basically you just make a board and then you make lists within the board. So what I love about Trello is it has, a, it comes preset with the things to do list, a doing list, and a done list. I made this plan list um, just now. But basically it's just a way for you to kind of organize your thoughts and your to-dos and your like goals and whatever. And I love this because I love how you can, so like let's say things to do um upload morning routine edit morning routine video so i'm gonna move this back here just to show you guys but like things to do filming ipad apps video i'm doing that now so i can move that over to the doing list it seems pretty simple and kind of dumb but i love it guys it's just great like it's just a great tool it's a great thing because i like to write my to-do list but sometimes i don't really feel like writing so like typing it up and like being able to move everything around and just visually seeing all the things all the tasks that i have to do be moved to the done list it's just great it's a great time for me i really like it and it's free so i don't know about y'all but i was very excited about it and like you can customize it and change the colors of everything you can have like group boards with other people it's just it's just a great great app and the next app i want to talk to you guys about is rate my professor so i don't know if you guys have heard of this but um i kind of use rate my professor in the past um basically it's really important especially when you're in college like high school is not really much you could do about what teacher you get stuck with but in college when you have to pick um certain classes with different professors it's a really good idea to use rate my professor to look them up um i'm not going to show you guys i'll show you an example john and it has i looked up john um, and you can look at the professor's ratings. You can look at people who kind of left comments about them. If they're hard graders or if they're always late to class, if they care if you skip or not. It has like really specific comments about the teachers that people leave and that they people rate them. So like that way, like if you have two English classes, you could take one's at 8 a.m. with John and then the other one's like at 8 a.m. with like Trevor or something. You can look up their names and kind of pick based off what teacher has the better rating. If that makes any sense it's really interesting to look at these i'm not going to click on one because it'll show you my college that i go to and i'm not about to expose myself like that so yeah but this app is extremely helpful i think it's also a website too so if you don't want to get the app you can always just use the website the next app that i want to talk to you guys about is uni days now i didn't know about this until very recently which is surprising because i think a lot more people know about this app than i thought they did but uni days is essentially basically you log into this app and it shows you every store every product whatever kind of thing that you can use your um student discount on because college kids nine times out of ten get student discounts on stuff um but i like never know what stuff we can get discounts on as a college student so when i found out about this app i was like wow this is a game changer so yeah it just has like a whole bunch of different categories fashion technology beauty food drink health fitness lifestyle sports media etc and why do I always crack like that? For example, Ray-Bans, you get 25% off. Um, you can leave little polls and stuff they have on here. Um, there's like beauty one, like you can get 20% off H&M, ColourPop sales. It's just like a really cool app because we're already paying so much money to go to get a higher education or go to college or whatever. So if you can get as many discounts as you can, it's fantastic for that. And then the last app I wanted to show you guys is actually the Post-it app. So this app, is super cool i'm just a nerd i love stationary stuff so like being able to just make little digital post-it notes i don't know it's so stupid but it's just so interesting to me i don't know i don't know why i like it so much but essentially you can have your own little post-it note wall so if you're trying to be you know eco-friendly and not have like 80 million stacks of post-it notes unlike myself these aren't even half the ones i have but um yeah you can do them on your ipad so i'll show you so you just click this create button in the bottom corner and you can change the color of the note page isn't that freaking cute the pink one we know i was gonna do that one you could just write on it whatever you want i wish my handwriting was nicer but it's fine or you can do like text oh i 
spelled hey wrong. That's embarrassing. And you can just add it to your wall. And then I think it'd be cool when you're just sitting here doing stuff on the computer or if you're just writing stuff or whatever, doing worksheets, and you can just have your little post notes there and you can make little groups and stuff like that. It's super cute and I don't know, I just love it. Like I just think it's the coolest thing ever. It's I don't know. I just love stationery and stuff like that. I just think it's so fun. And then the last apps that I have um, are just note taking apps. So I'm actually in the process of doing a Notability versus Good Notes 5 video for you guys because I so when I did my iPad video a couple of week, months ago, I got a lot of comments because I had Notability back then and that's what I primarily used for notes. And then after that video, I got Good Notes 5 and I converted to Good Notes 5 now. I love Notability, but Good Notes 5 is just a lot better, at least in my opinion. So I was going to do a video kind of doing pros and cons of that if you guys would be interested in it. And I also was going to do a video on how I take notes digitally. So that will be coming up soon because I know a lot of people have been asking me to do that video. But yeah, a good note taking app is a really great um, investment, honestly. I know Notability costs money. I know that um, Good Notes 5, I believe it was like eight to $10. I'm not sure which one it was because it was so long ago. Um, but I know there's a lot of free note taking apps now. I feel like in the last couple of months, a lot of free note taking apps have kind of like risen up in the app store or whatever, which I wish I would have known about months ago. Otherwise I would not have spent $10 on an app. But just think about it as an investment into your education. So I don't know. Last thing I wanted to just suggest for you guys um, on the topic of iPads and technology is to definitely invest in some blue light glasses. I swear guys, I haven't gotten like random headaches in a while and I think it's because I'm wearing my blue light glasses all the time. Um, I have these kind of clear pink ones and then I have, um, they're like a shade, like they're like tinted pink. It's kind of hard to tell. And then I have these ones, which I got like a couple weeks ago. I feel like Arthur in them, but they're so cute. Like, I just think they're adorable. I don't even know if they look good to me or not, but I just, I love them. They're so big. I don't know. I think they're really cute. But investing in a pair of blue light glasses is a really great idea. And this isn't sponsored. I'm literally just telling you. I got these from Amazon. They were $15, I think. And they're a very worthy investment because let me tell you, when your college is online like mine was and how a lot of your guys' probably is too, you're going to be on the computer a lot. And if you're not on the computer, you're going to be in your tablet, your phone, whatever. And it's just a great idea. I don't know why my eyebrows always move when I talk. It's a great idea to get you some blue light glasses. That's all I'm going to say. It's just, it's, I feel like blue light glasses are becoming such an essential for everyone now. Or at least, like, I guess people on the internet. I don't know. But, <laughs> yeah. But, guys, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys found these apps helpful. Comment down below if your guys' colleges or schools are going to be online or in person this, sem um, this semester. Mine are going to be online, unfortunately. But... We're gonna try to make the best of it um the one thing i am happy about though is that the time i'll be saving from going to campus i can put into making youtube videos and content for you guys so hope you guys are excited for that don't forget to subscribe follow me on my other social medias and i hope to see you guys next time on my channel peace out i never know how to exit anymore like what do i do i don't know